Yeah, yeah go ahead. Well, you Ms. didn't Diana finish explaining to her what we're doing today, Paul. You really didn't finish. <laughs> That's why I'm like, I want to so, make sure she's comfortable. So Diana, Diana, there are so Sam's gonna make you feel comfortable. Go for it, Sam. Okay. <laughs> well, no, first I just want to uh like welcome you. Uh so we've been a part of this uh, digital discourse project. It's been a longitudinal uh, research project that we've been doing using digital discourse. And as AI was evolving, because we started pre-COVID pre or just about during COVID. And mm -hmm. as AI was and, evolving. And pre-chat GPT. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As yeah. this was evolving, we were simultaneously, you know, playing around, tinkering with our students, ourselves, using AI. And so we added a chapter in this book that we're writing that covers our, our practice around using digital tools and digital practices, digital moves. And we're, we're working on this AI uh, chapter and we have drafts and we're like, well, since we're working on chapter AI, like let's use AI, which um, I kind of talk about how I started that process, like using it with my students and both both inside the classroom and outside the classroom. So just curious, Diana, are you have you started playing around with uh, AI in any way? I have but just more recently, mostly here in the classroom. Um, cool. So you all are way far ahead of me. So I can be the note taker. Or if you are preparing for something and your your guys are on a roll, I just saw I was going through my email and I always miss the dates and then I saw oh my gosh it's like three minutes till I can do this one, but no, um, so I mean that's nice, Diana. Tell us a little more about what you you're doing in your classroom. Now. Well, um, I am with writing mostly with writing but also a little bit of research with the students. Mm -hmm. And then also um, using that to verify sources with primary texts um, and just getting them to begin to look at what is, what's a viable source, what's a good source, how do you know what part of a source to trust? Um, and then also we've been using, um, I've been playing so around wait, with wait. it with Slow feedback. down a little bit on that. You're, you're using AI for that? In what way? Yes. Yes. Because when the kids, uh, I've noticed when the kids do their Google searching, now more often an AI piece pops up first. It's not the, by sponsors. And so we've had to stop and really take a look like, okay, this is AI, which means some pieces are going to be accurate, some pieces are not. So then we have to verify it with other sources. And how do you do that? And what do you question? And and that type of thing. So, so you mean like the Gemini? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna take this call and be back in a minute. I'll just okay. That's cool, cool. So, I'm just, Go I'm ahead. like, um, talk about like a baby newborn just wet behind the ears, flying by the seat of her pants with this <laughs> AI thing because it's just, it's coming. This is coming and it's interesting to me. So I've been having um, discussions with another writing pro project um, teacher. She's now at the college level. And we uh, last year we went back and forth on um, what's good about it, what's bad about it, and just kind of informal, um, informal that way. So, um, and how to use this thing, how to use this thing and not be used by this thing type thing, so. But where are you all headed so I, with I, this? Well, I think it's, let me just, I, I think it's wonderful that you're here because one of my questions as we are preparing for this round table, we're going to be um, at uh, National Council of Teachers of English. Are you coming also? Not this year. I was there last year. Not this year. Okay. So we're going to be there and we have a round table where, uh, and we're going to spend the next 45 minutes here figuring out what we're going to do with that round table. I'm going to hear what you guys have already does, talked about and then see how it's fitting with where we are. But you would be, it would be great if you would continue to listen as if you were somebody coming to that round table and tell us like, what, you know, what is it that you want to get from this round table? 
right? Okay. That's fair. Cool. Hi, we have a couple of R's come in. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I made it right back at time. Good. Okay, so we, we're actually just getting started then. So, Rabini, did you want to introduce, take over a little bit? Yes. Feel free to. Uh, yes. Okay. So I think what I'm going to, uh, uh, I think what I thought we'd use the time for is to first maybe discuss the NCT, but there are really three things that I wanted to bring in. One Good. was um, the chapter that we are writing um, and the logistics of it. Um, the second is our roundtable presentation that's on um, Thursday. And then the third thing is the social. So, right, like the two events that we have at NCT for digital discourse, one is the roundtable and we are the AI table. So it's just, um, it's us. It's Paul, Roland, Bonnie and Reed. And I will help you um, sort of manage the time and like with the logistics. Um, and then... Um, and then we sort of on, on for the socials, it's much more easy. It's much more casual with the fall teachers bringing in things and all the all, all of us bringing some of the student work. Um, I think what we we did um, when we were at Denver, we made a slide deck. If you remember, Bonnie, um, um, Roland and Reed, we kind of built some things out. And I think Joe put in his things too, but he's not on a table. Uh, so we can think about what that looks like. And we... But drawing that slide deck is there on the table. You can click it to get to it if you need to. But go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Keep going. yeah. Um, and so th the way this, so I'll start with what the round table struct is structured as. Uh, so we we have because we, so we have five chapters, and based on those five chapters, we have um, five tables. The I emailed. Um, it's also in the agenda, but I think I also emailed you the structure. Um, it's it starts the roundtable starts at one. It goes up till two fifteen. Um, I think it's from one to two fifteen. If I'm yes, that's right. Um, and so Amy and Elise will open it up. Um, they'll sort of frame the project, and Christina will lead us into a reflection on a word. Then we have two two times. So we have like. To, um, it's divided, the rest of the time is divided into two sections of 25 minutes and 25 minutes each. So we'll have the first set of, we'll have the first 25 minutes where everybody gets to one table. And then we, at the next 25 minutes, people circulate to different tables. So my, each person will probably be able only, will only be able to do one table. Um, so if I'm, if I'm, a, if I'm, a, if I'm a, if I'm a, if I'm a participant, then I'll get to one table for first 25 minutes. And I'll when when the time switches, when the sort of like the 25 minute ends, I'll go to the next table. Um, and so there's, and my guess is actually not my guess, but like there's four of us on our table, for example. So in that 25 minutes, um, I sent a mail saying that every speaker has about five minutes, but now that I'm sort of, re I re-looked at it and I thought actually we'll probably each have um, three to four minutes because we want to leave some time for conversations in the 25 minute slot. Um, I think each of us, each of the speakers gets about three minutes and we leave time for discussion. Um, with sort of, I, with, and we'll take a lot of this work back into the socials. So we'll have, it's sort of like an introduction so it's a low lift in that sense that it's not sort of, it's just literally like talking, sharing about a little, a, slit, a student work or something that you've got in your class. And then just, uh, I know that at the beginning of the session, Amy is going to say to the people who are attending it that we'll talk more about it. There'll be an opportunity to engage more deeply at the social, which is on Saturday. So really it's like giving like a glance into what we are thinking and doing. And doing. Um, so that what we I, I thought would be, I'm really glad that we are meeting so we can sort of like fix those two, like the slides that we have and what we want to share. Um, and I and so my role in this is to help you all. Uh, maybe I could keep time. I could introduce. I could start just maybe like, you know, I don't have to do it either one. Ravina, could I? Ravini, could I um, ask Diana to jump in at this point mm -hmm. and ask and Diana ask you to say, let's say you were at a conference like this 
and you saw a bunch of teachers, you saw us sitting there saying, we're going to talk about AI and digital dis discourse. What would you come to the table hoping to get? AI and what was the last part? In digital discourse, which we oh, will have talked about a little bit. Yeah. In digital discourse. Well, I mean, I am always one for application. So I want to know how to apply it, <clears throat> A, professionally um, in, in the work that I do, but B, um, with the goal of understanding it so that I can show my students mm -hmm. not the bells and whistles, but how to use it to enhance their knowledge of content or to demonstrate their knowledge of content. Um, so those, I mean, without knowing much more about where you guys all came together and where you are currently with it, that would be my initial piece until I heard um, some of what the experiences were, because again, I am just a toddler. So I, I'm looking at self. I think those, those, self. Are, yeah. those are good guidelines. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'll, feel free to keep. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll hop in and say, yeah, it's, it really aligns uh, with I think what we were at, what we actually did ourselves, and let like that. And in the piece that I wrote in the chapter, I'm talking about how I incorporate using AI. I call it in the hustle for the hustle and for the classroom, right? And so I'm showing my students how you can use AI to help with like side hustles and businesses ideas but then also how to use it in the classroom. And what we did was kind of like um, in this piece where me and a student, we kind of did this critique of this, like this whole neoliberal take on hustling. But what we what we did was we had personas through Now Comment. So Now Comment gives you the ability to like have different perspectives, take on uh, a reading or a slant of a text. And so we had, these personas, like these AI personas, kind of give us feedback on our work, which is like was really cool for both me and my students. If that if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, t tell me more about what you. I mean, that was. Uh, I was just going to ask you to do what you did, Sam. Tell tell me more about what you guys talked about in Denver. Um, yeah. recently okay. about this group. All right. So I, I'm going to quickly just maybe point us to the slides. I don't know if, Diana, you can see them, but um, I don't know yes. if uh, Paul, you could share uh, them. Maybe like if you could just maybe share, share them and we can just see it. I think what we, we spoke, Sam pretty much covered what we spoke about. We decided that if everyone has a segment, uh, a, a section that they're working on. So like Roland is looking at social annotation with AI, Sam had social exchange with AI, Bonnie had social making with AI. Um, and we were hoping to use that each one of us gets like about three to four minutes to maybe showcase an application. Um, so exactly what Sam shared. And then the slide would um, have a QR code. So folks who are attending our, our table will be able to take some of it back with them. Uh, and also will have a chance to engage with us um, more deeply on Saturday when they come to this social event that we have. So this is really like giving, it's like a teaser. So this this round table is really thinking of, think about that, this round table as a teaser where we introduce just the table and say, we've been thinking about AI and digital discourse. And then everybody <laughs> shows this is a little bit of what they've been thinking and doing. Um, and then my hope, like, I think we were really, um, to Diana's point, I think it's really cool also for like people who come in and attend to be able to take something back. So uh, we were, we, we could have like QR codes for each. So let's say Roland has something that she wants to share. I mean, each one of us. Um, and I can just sort of, if you put the links in, I'll just create the QR codes for all of that. But really talking about application. So my, yeah. I'm sorry, my, um, go ahead, go ahead. my concern about the application part of this is we know we have access to now comment and we have access to writing partners and those teachers won't have those access yet. Or how do they get access? 
That's basically the question. I mean, we can show them all this, but when they go back to their classes, they won't be able to use it without uh, now comment or writing partners. Right, but but the but would it? I think it might be really cool for them to see what what's possible. I think it's mm -hmm. I find that it's really interesting to actually also like show what what is possible and how. Like I know that that at Denver they're using Magic AI, and then um, Joe was talking about that Magic. Mm -hmm. Magic school bus, magic school AI, whatever that that one that they're using, which magic school, yeah, yeah. right. And then, um, and he's and, also mentioned character AI, yeah. right? Like, and yeah. and yeah. like, what the ways you've been thinking about now comments? It's a, such a cool space to introduce everyone to what we're doing, mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. hope is that they'll come back on Saturday uh, and learn more or engage more. And even if they don't, they can always like they'll meet Paul for they'll meet you, right? So you'll have like, if they want to stay in touch or learn more, it's sort of mm -hmm. also giving a snippet of what other folks are thinking about and doing. So uh, the QR code could lead to like a student work or something else, but I don't know, like we can think about that. Can I interject here? Um, one thing, Paul and I uh, did a presentation for the celebration of writing and literacy at Penn. This yeah, just last month. Mm -hmm. And so in reference to what Rollin is saying, he provided a startup code for everybody in attendance. Whoever came in, they got a code in order to get into writing partners so that they could play. Um, I mm -hmm. think he gave it to them for how many days, Paul? To, yeah, so, it's, it's 10 days. But, right, he gave uh, it to me for 10 days. So I just want to jump in because Paul is really um, laid back about this. A part of what we're doing too. <laughs> Not really. Is, yeah. yeah, but a part of what we're doing is also um, marketing the product so that other teachers can get on it and, and they can pay for it because it's at the point now because it works so well that, you know, it needs to be on on the market and and i think that'll be great and paul we could you know if there's a way to like put uh, put like a qr code on it we could sort of put that out there i think that's a great idea yeah um, i've got i've got t-shirts postcards and a banner so yeah i'm ready but oh you have a t-shirt yeah i'm ready sure. yeah I, I got, yeah but but here's i i mean and and marketing it the product is is i get that but I also also want to make clear why we're doing that constantly. And it's about expanding the network. It's about how I think teachers need a community where they can practice this, practice using AI. Mm -hmm. um, and we provide that. Um, and so that's what I think we're really promoting here. And anybody, anybody who comes to our workshop table would be welcome to kind of get started themselves. And then also if they want to, you know, try it out with the class, they can with the knowledge that eventually that, you know, it is a pay service. Mm -hmm. So um, does that jive with what you just said, Bonnie? I think. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And so, yeah. And so uh, when I was oh. looking at the um, slide, I see I'm doing the make a bio image because we thought that that would be something very simple for teachers to be able to do and see a oh, there product do. of their yeah. Yeah. of their text to image writing you know immediately um even one of the women who was with us uh in the celebration of writing and literacy she did it with her students and she just went straight to per chance though but several of the students in the class had access to writing partners because they were in my class. So they, you know, started gathering around those students to get those images up for haiku, haikus. So that, you know, so it was something easy that a teacher who normally would not use AI and says she doesn't want to use AI was able to use it in class with students. So that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Rabini, I, I hear and have, have thought the same things that you just said, that this is a quick introduction. I get all that. 
you know, the keeping the stakes low. On the other hand, um, I want to, I want to, I want to suggest something different. And Sam, you help me with this, maybe. But which is that, you know, asking asking Rollin and Bonnie and Sam to make elevator pitches to their principals or their assistant principal, whoever it is in three minutes about why we do this and what it is we do doesn't feel like a bad thing to kind of like raise the stake a little bit in how we present this. Um, Did that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I think, um, I think we could sort of, it really is up to us to how we, we, how we use that 25 minutes. Uh, hopefully, enough time that we're not talking to people and leaving space for people to ask questions. That's sort of like my biggest concern because sometimes, you know, it's really only 25 minutes and there's like five of us on the table. It's very easy to just speak our parts. Um, and it'd be super effective to be like, here's, here's what we're doing. Come talk to us tomorrow um, and let's talk on the table. So even if it's, I don't know how we structure it. It really is up to us. Uh, on how we structure it, and I, I, I mean, you know, I, I think one of the first structures we thought was because we are sort of showcasing the book. Um, we mm -hmm. thought it would be really in Denver when we were speaking. I think that's what almost all tables are doing, like taking elements of the book, which is really what we've been doing in digital discourse, and using that as like a structure. But we, it really is up to us on how we want to use it. But our our chapter is a little different for Bonnie because. Yeah. It was thrown in, it was added at the last minute, knowing the type of work that we have done right. being a part of the digital discourse team. Bonnie, it's completely open for us to, like, there is no restriction. Like, I think we spoke, when we met at Denver, we, we divided yeah. the slide into, like, the different sections that each one of us was writing. Mm -hmm. uh, but at this point, if that structure doesn't work, um, and if there's something else that we want to do, it's absolutely open for us to do it as long as sort of, you know, we, we, it's your work and how you present it. So are you asking us to, in this presentation, to sort of mirror what we've written in the chapter? Because thinking about what Diana just said, like application, how can I take this on the road with me after I leave? In right. I think, I think, Paul, if you can maybe share, I mean, do you think I can share it? I've never used, I could present it. Mm -hmm. You might be able to, unless your browser blocks it. Yes. Um, maybe because I kind of like. What, what did you want to share? I want, on the, on the same slide deck, I wanted to just showcase slide 12. I can do it. Yeah. Okay. So just an example of like some of, if, if it helps to see how some of the other groups have structured it. And this one in particular was a helpful example. Am I sharing? Uh, not yet. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I have to choose before. It. Okay. There we go. Okay, and you said slide twelve. They've been changing. Numbers have been changing. Uh, slide twelve. I think it should social exchange. Yeah, maybe this one. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. So I think what they've done is, again. So they've kind of like taken different things. I think they wanted to share the text of Kite. I don't know where the QR code leads to, but like they've kind of like each one has this little thing that they're sharing uh, from their mm -hmm. chapter. It aligns with how this chapter looks like. So like the Jen has some stuff, Jen Fried has another, Caleb has another, and they have like little QR codes that leads to their student work, or it leads to a text that they want to talk about on the table while talking about social exchange. Um, so this is sort of like one format just to show what like other tables are thinking of. And this is completely based off on the, on the writing that they've done for the book. Uh, and, and when we met at Denver, we kind of also structured it around like Paul, the portion that you've written or read or Roland, like they all had these different sections or things that we written, but, um, but we're, you know, if you have another way to structure it, I'm happy to help you. So here's Diana. Can I ask you to um, jump in for with the question? Um, and, and, and but everybody can think about this. I, I mean, one of the questions I have is, 
let me preface it this way. One of the things I think teachers need to do is need to do. It would be wonderful if they did, could do, <laughs> is um, become AI guided writers themselves so that they know how that fits and what they, that, that, then they, I think you'll have a real good sense of how that looks in your own classroom then, right? Um, and Paul, just I'm going yes. to piggyback on that. That's why I, I thought of when we were sitting in Denver about the um, text to image writer, because they they're able to interact immediately with AI and see a product, mm -hmm. and because te you know t teachers of English are always looking at images and words, you know, kind of to combine that. And they can get get it done like quick and dirty almost, or quick and clean. Sure. <laughs> so then, but that, that, but then, so my question to Diana, but also everyone, is, what's the balance in twenty five minutes between doing something yourself and seeing examples, so that you kind of care about this stuff? And and not even twenty five minutes, Paul, because um, yeah, okay, yeah. So maybe like maybe 15 minutes because you really do. I think it's super helpful if people can ask questions too. So, yeah. So I think the, the, the approach of the high level pitch, you know, the elevator pitch and, the, and like you say, the teaser and boom, 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 open up for questions at the end. I think that's going to be the best approach. And then, like you say, at the social, uh, people could come hang out and, you know, chop it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And that's where they have more time to like, let's say speak with Reed or like Paul or Bonnie to like say what kind of tools were you using? And, you know, as long as we have things that they can also take back, let's say somebody can't come back for the social, I think it would be really nice for them to take something back. Mm -hmm. They can have links on there, which they can, you know, just either screenshot or just, I'll, I'll have the printout of our slides too, so that people, if they want to just like, you know, take a screenshot or like save them, they can do it. But I think it would be really helpful today if we can just decide on how to structure this, um, just logistically. So logistically, there we have to submit this by Sunday. So Kathy, who's helping, uh, who's a project manager, can help us. Yeah, we'll get there. But I think, yeah. yeah. Diana, I noticed you, you unmuted, I think. I did. did you want um, to say something? Again, I'm, I'm Sorry, looking yeah. at your resources as uh -huh. as you're taking the slide deck and then I, um, I don't even, oh, I went into writing partners and I'm like, oh, I get it now. I thought it was just going to be a general session talking about how to use AI with writing partners, which it, it you know, it is in a way, but um, I 100% agree and live by you get the person doing what it is you want them to do within the first five minutes. Of, of them coming in the room, which is hard when you have a limited time. But I think that you have um, so many pieces that you, you can have um, kind of um, sp sped up. I, and and the, here's an idea y'all can pull apart and take or discard or, or um, hopefully find a nugget in. But you know those 60 second history clips um, I almost feel like if you had a couple of those 60 second history clips or si 60 seconds of here's here's quickly what we did with this AI piece um, and then launched into some kind of discussion or they moved to people to talk and answer questions and how exactly did you know go more in depth, um, that would be a, a pretty neat thing. So even like a, a paper with um, bookmarks on how to get to the tools, but something where they could see it real quick. Cause I was looking at the kite runner piece that was on here, but then also I was really interested That's on another in another table, by the way. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then I was yeah, also okay. interested on the writing partner piece, how um, people were really cautious of how they were asking the questions and the politeness of which they were asking AI the questions to get to, okay, in my discussion, what is the nugget that I do want to write about? Because AI was able to source that for them. And um, so, I, I yeah, that, that was my idea. Just give them some kind of visual about what some of these are and then let them take Thanks. it. And, yeah. 
Rollin, do you want to jump in at some point? I just, and Sam, I don't need to interrupt. No, 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 go ahead. Because I, I'm kind of um, confused because it's not in the book. If we were to mirror the, the ones uh, we have in the book, I only talked about the Odyssey and the use of AI partners. And we didn't talk about writing partners there. Do you have that written already? Yes. Oh, I'd love to see that. It um, should be in the, in the chapter you. you're in. Um, you have okay. access to that. On the table, right? Is that on the table? Well, you, aren't you on the table? I can share the link to the chapter. I, I can just share. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, the role uh, in that. So, so, Roland, so. Can, can can I re present or ask you a question? Like if we could spend we could spend a lot of time just describing what you've done over the last two days, right? But then you could spend and but Bonnie, you and I we could spend time describing what you've done, right? But but my question is, how can we get to that um, sixty second history clip? Um, that shows what you're doing, but isn't, I don't know how to say this. So Paul, I, it, it, it feels like it would leave out too much, no matter what we do. Mm -hmm. No matter what we do, if we did 60 yeah. seconds, so it could be 90 seconds. And because you've been <laughs> recording us, even sometimes when you come into our classes, I don't know if you've been in Rollins class or uh, Reed's class. Um, we can do, you know, little snippets of what we've done with students in classes, um, almost do it like a little vignette. Uh, and it doesn't, I mean, it could be two minutes because we'll keep people's attention if we do a two minute video vignette and then we start talking for those few moments we have. And then we do Q&A because that's where the questions are going to come from. And if we have, um, um, or we don't want to give them a QR code to get into writing partners then because we want sure them to can. play okay. with it in at the social. Because this is only supposed to be a tease to get them to come to the social while we talk a little bit about it. And then they, it's more for them than for us, this, I think. What do you mean by that? I don't know what you mean. Um, for them to be, you know, we're, we're fishing. We're going fishing and a, a safe fishing, you know, with good bait. So that's why I say it's more for them, okay. even though we're the, we're the ones. So is there time for them to do something on writing partners? Yes, and yes, we'll have a code for everybody to get in really easily. Not a problem. All right, we, we can do that. Um, so, Robani, how do people I, I, feel about I, that? Yeah. Like, I don't think there's enough time because you know how, like, generally, I don't know what your experience has been on roundtables. My experience. It's too tight. It's too tight and it's too messy. Like, it's just too many people. They come in. Somebody's coming in. Yeah. You know, people. Just, yeah. People. High level people. pitch. And hook them in. The hook is like, yeah. What are what what are you guys doing? Like we we we. That's why I wanted to in, invite Diana and in to find out what you know she's doing in her classroom and what's going you know, like where she is. And then from there, boom. Now we're going to have discussion and like, okay, hey, come out to the social, and we can do some yeah. more. Yeah, that that really sounds like it could be either. It could be like we don't have to present at them. It could be like. We spend the first 10 minutes just asking what folks are doing and then the last next 15 minutes saying, this is what I did in my class. Like each one of us shares how we've been thinking and working with AI, like the elevator pitch. It could, we could flip it, but like starting with that or, you know, however you want to flip it. But some sort of structure is super helpful. I like, and I think socials is where we'll be like, hey, and come to the socials. We'll be playing with this. We'll be trying out all of these things. And if you can't come, then here's the link. Join us here on our comments or whatever. Rollin, can I can I throw it back to you? I, I, I heard what you all said here. 
um, the I don't want you to have to redo work. If you've already mm -hmm. worked through something, can you describe what you did with the Odyssey in um, in three minutes? Does yes, that make sense. Yes, I can. I can do that. So, and now I can also provide the um, screenshots of student conversations with AI personas and how they have reacted to you know the um, this process because I think when I we we read seven novels and this is their favorite one everybody because I think of the interactive nature of the text that how we how, how I presented it using using um, now comment so I, it's a very good sell because my students loved it but my concern okay. is they don't have access to it so again they would Anybody at the anybody at the table could jump in and 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 do do a project, test it out, play with it themselves. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So if we and were they, to give them something to play about, or, so are we going to use, for example, the Odyssey text? Is that how you're going to propose it, or are we going to give an example of another text? I don't know. What do you think? <clears throat> I mean, there are there are now six texts up on writing partners. Oh well, they, so they can, can they can play. Yeah, yeah. They can choose. Okay. Yeah. So it wouldn't matter that it's. Are not we the going Odyssey, to but, be yeah. in writing partners? Forget about now comment. Is that what it is? <laughs> Given the twenty five minutes, I think that makes sense. If if you disagree, let me know. Although Sam, your, your example comes from there too. Oh, right? but I don't know if you a answered her question. So we're done yes. with okay. now comment, right? And we're in writing partners solely. Yes or no? For this presentation, yes. But it's fine if you if but but Rollins presenting something from now comment. No that's comment. Cool. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I, but I, but mm -hmm. but as we, as we're encouraging people to join us, I would say join us in writing partners. Is that is that clear enough? And, Bonnie, and that, I mean, now I mean, yeah, because I mean, I can talk both platforms, but we've moved we've moved all of my stuff to writing partners, my my novels and everything. So now comment mm -hmm. is like a thing of the past. And even I've said in a sentence um, to students today in introducing the text, th these were both in now comment, but now we have them in writing partners for them to use. So it's a migration. Right. And, and a migration as a result of the development of the platforms. That's what I said today, I think. Yeah, I think that's clear enough. I think that's fine. But um, anybody, but now comment is free, and anybody could jump in and do whatever they want there. Um, if they will get, they will get support in writing partners. Is another way to say. It, well, right? no, we're not trying to push anything for free. We're not pushing nothing for free. You're right. Uh, Fair enough. And Sam, and can Sam, I have... can you do your thing? And go ahead. Sorry. I was just gonna say one more thing that I, you know, just it's also stuck me that. We're going to be out with this book soon, like hopefully by next year at NCT, this book would be out. And it, it's also like a really good way to like talk about that. We, that, we, that this is a book like and it'll like it'll be available and, access, and the kinds of things that we're talking about are also will also find like, you know, so that they, they can be watching out for the book when it comes out. So it's a good way to even like sort of pre-promote. Right. Like it's, a, I mean, and I think we have to, otherwise it's really hard to like, it's a, it's going to be a really cool book when it comes out and we're almost there. So it's a good way to yeah, just sure. also remember that this is a book that's going to come out soon. So by that, the way, hi, Bob Montgomery, but go ahead. <laughs> hey, Bob. I, and I, that's what I was thinking. Like I can share so many different things about working with AI and writing partners. I mean, even down to lesson planning and helping um, differentiate instruction as far as lesson planning for students with special education, 
lesson planning for with students for autistic. Sometimes I'll use writing partners for it, but sometimes I'll just use generative AI as well. Um, so, I mean, it's so much to talk about with this. That's why my chap, I mean, this part of my chapter, I'm like, okay, I need to use AI to write it. I'm going to use writing partners to write it because I have too much to say and we don't have that much space. Yeah. Uh, I was coming around to Sam. Sam, do you, can you do your um, persona um, hustle presentation in three minutes? Will you have slides? Does that make sense? I think just giving a high level pitch about it instead of, uh, and then maybe, uh, a, so I talked in our other group, uh, when we met with Amy for our other chapter, like having kind of, and I don't know if we were going to use this at the social or at the, at the round table, but like having like a little, I'm, I'm into like one pagers that are like real succinct, you know, this is what my talking points are, like having something like that. And on it, and I heard Rabani, you kind of scared me when you say like stuff needs to be ready by Sunday because honestly on my timeline, I wasn't getting to it until Monday. In fact, because I knew we were meeting on Monday. Yeah, I mean, Kathy's, I mean, I, I, we really like didn't, I think Amy and we, we all discussed, like we kind of, we, I met the sort of the logistics team and we were really hoping not to like burden everyone with a lot of ton of work. This is really just because it's so like we want to make sure that it doesn't feel like high stakes and now so much time needs to go in it because I know you've all done so much already like even with writing the AI chapter I from from my side I feel like we have some of the content it just needs to like sort of be put together whether it's like a link that you want to share if it's a screenshot like Roland is saying but literally like a, a single slide that we all collectively make um we can meet again on Monday and I can tell Kathy that like our group will um, send everything in by Monday night so she can sort of pretty it up, uh, whatever she needs to do. Um, I'll send an email out with the deadline Sunday night in the hope that we'll have one extra day. But so this is not to stress you out, but I also don't want to add like, there's just too much you all are already doing. So if you can keep it super, uh, I mean... Yeah, I yeah. And on that tip, like on really that tip, mindful Bonnie, of your time. So Bonnie, on that tip, the um you've done so much around the starting with the debates, right? But putting that aside for a second because it's such a hard thing to go to. And also you mentioned the the bios and the images. Um but if um I'm trying to think here, um There's a pathway there that you might be able to describe and thinking that people in the room are thinking about digital discourse in those different ways about uh, conversation, mm -hmm. annotating text and creating text, right? Yep. In that case, they used AI to create an image to, they then um, used AI to revise their bios and then move toward publishing it in the the New York Times forum, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you could tell that story, which mm -hmm. is like such a little piece of what you've done, I think there's a lot of there's a lot of elements in that. Okay. Does that does that make sense? Absolutely. That makes sense. Okay. And when do, where can I get this recording so I can write that down? Because that's an easy, that's an easy, and it's in three minutes. That's a three okay. minutes. Well, um, there on on the site there is a pathway, I, but I, that oh yeah, breaks path that path. down. Mm -hmm, I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about me? What am I doing? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, like. Uh, we, I really, uh, we really thought that, uh, I mean, at least when we made that, that everybody's kind of like taking things that they'd already written, written in or were writing about the chapter. So I, if this is how you, I mean, you do so much. Uh, so either like sort of, 
and I and I think Joe is not going to be there, so maybe we can just take some of his things off because he's not going to be presenting it. Um, yeah, and I noticed I wouldn't uh, do what I'm doing in the chapter. You put that up somewhere else. Present yeah. that. I would not present what's really in the chapter because I want them to buy the book. So I'm not going to tell them because right. <laughs> it'll just be no, no, in, no, Bonnie. I meant the structure. So oh. I, you know, like we had the social exchange, social annotation. Just oh, okay. Not, not what's not the content, but like sticking with this. But like Paul, I mean, if that is, is I think it might. It could just literally be. All four of you bringing in your own perspective. Hey, Paul, um, I, I'm sorry. I, ha yeah, I had sorry. an idea, Paul. Um, Good. Like, you, you, I think you coming high level around, like, mm -hmm. how uh, the thinking partners uh, are tailored to, like, work with youth. Uh, the, 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 the issue around, like, it is an alternative to, like, the big tech, you know, you, you know how you, you've talked with us about like what, the, like the why yeah, of can I do this, why this is like not better, but why this uh, is an, it is, is an enhancement of just like just doing the, the quick uh, chat GBT, uh, you know, usage mm -hmm. and whatever, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's where you come in like really, really strong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As as both like the developer and the the guardian of of this this platform, like I think mm -hmm. that would be really really strong. Mm -hmm. And I, and, and, yeah. and there, go ahead. I was just gonna say I love the way you framed it, and even in the chapter, Paul. So I'm not not to say that you should do it, but I really I really like what Sam said. I think that'll be super helpful. Like mm -hmm. we can have you start with sort of framing it, and then. Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I really like that. Diana, I, I as as the Greek chorus again, if you don't mind. Yeah. Um, but others others jump into it, Bobby. Can is that like is that of interest? Like I'm I'm you know I'm interested in it, but is that of interest to people to think about how AI is not just one thing, and what we're doing is is significantly different than using chat gpt mm -hmm. i i think it is because i think people are afraid it's just chat gpt and so mm -hmm. i i think it's good to frame it that way and you never know what people are looking for and most of the time people don't know what they're looking for like they think i thought i was coming to something on writing partners and now i'm looking at this program with this incredible capability i was looking at the the um revision and the tracking of revision on it um, is is amazing, and so <laughs> um, I'm like, you guys just need to have a giant conference all your it's, own to do this. Yeah, but, but we've got yeah, 25 I minutes. Think, yeah, I, it, 25 minutes is not going to do anything justice. So um, to to what you all have done in just the limited time I've seen. So I think just talking about what your your heart is passionate about at the moment with AI is going to bring people in at different levels. But, um, and I, I think you're good really with whatever you talk about. I'm just like I'm amazed and, and feel like I've wasted the past five years without doing anything with AI. So. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna buy the book, I can tell you that. All right, man. Well, we haven't heard from Bob. No, no. If he wants to jump in, nice to see you, Bob. Oops, you muted. You, you, you didn't unmute. <laughs> Maybe you started talking. There great, you great, great to see you all. I've been uh, absent for quite a while, but it's really nice to reconnect and get a sense of, although I don't know what the book is, um, about the conversation you're having about presenting or facilitating a round table, and it's a dilemma. Um, that I face as well with my colleagues, and that's how to frame the, uh, you know, the dosage of, of, you know, my ideas or our ideas with the experience of people articulating their own ideas um, and creating a community um, around that sharing. So it's how, is that is that the plan that you'll have a, a roundtable of twenty five minutes that and you're you're working with that construct and you're it's going to be a big ballroom and you've got a group 
a group around your one table and you're trying to facilitate there are four, four other tables happening yeah right yeah. oh four other um yeah, yeah. so i don't you can jump back whenever you want but the, I, I want yeah i so one one of the um one of the feelings and, and one of the things that's going to be emphasized toward the beginning is digital discourse for what, right? Um, I just want to, and, and we could ask that about AI too. Like, why are we doing AI, mm -hmm. right? It is a reasonably fair question. And it's certainly a question a lot of teachers have. Um, I don't know if you saw, uh, uh, but the, um, is it? I forget which organization it was, but they they redid a, a survey, Education Week, I think, um, and teachers are still not coming to AI, right? Yep. Uh, almost in the same percentages um, as they were a year ago. So it's and and things have changed in that year, right? But yeah. so so why are we doing AI? Feels like a fair question. Um, part and why are we doing digital digital media, digital discourse? I think part of it is the damage that kids have experienced because of digital discourse in their lives, and we can kind of do it right. I think the same is going to be true with AI and is already true with AI. And one of the metaphors, it's way up there at the top of this screen, one of the metaphors that I'm asking whether we can put this out there, there's another one, but one of the metaphors is that to think about AI as um, steroids, AI as sneakers, and AI as a coach, right? And I think if we don't teach well with AI, they're going to use it like steroids. It's Their work is going to look you know, good enough to get by, but they're not going to be learning, they're not going to be thinking, they're not going to be creative. Um, if we can move more towards sneakers and coaching with AI, I think we can help kids become thinkers, right? Um, and that distinction is really important to me and it's what motivates me. But I don't know if people coming to this table will like latch into that. Any responses to that little speech? Yes, because reason why I say why AI, you know, dealing with the um, communities of children, black children and children from all over the world, like a global classroom, I want, um, I don't want them to be left behind by the explosion of new technology and artificial intelligence. And those that will be on top with technology because of AI are going to be prompt engineers. They will be the ones who are able to talk to the intelligence to make it do what either they or someone else needs to have it do um, because you just can't open up and put in AI and get what it is you think you want. You have to craft a message. So you have to think through it in order to get out of it what you want and not just some lock, stock and barrel something. So that's that's my stock answer. Why AI? Cool, cool. I don't want them to be left behind. Can you do poetry snaps to that? And, <laughs> no, seriously. I, I mean, I, I love it. It, it. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not that's even Bonnie's, go that's at Bonnie's in, natural in cadence. It, what? That's Bonnie's natural cadence. Like, oh, okay. Well, it was beautiful. Both what Paul said, and it, it, I can just see B B B B. So the triple B. I'm going to call you. Mm -hmm. uh, a complete outsider on this. Um, what I wish, just in limited time, had with you all and looking at your site, is to see a live progression of how the 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 couple or just one of the um, essays happened. Um, like just even if it was a sped up version of that, um, and like that at the opening would like blow me away. Then to find out that it's not a teacher responding. It's AI responding. And then to hear you guys talk about why, I'd be hooked. And then anything after that would just be me running to find how do I do it? What do I do? How do I get my kids there? Um, 
Thank and you. Is it okay, Di is it okay, Diana, if we can if we can say to you one of the ways to get going is start trying it yourself. Mm -hmm. Try doing some writing. Oh yeah. And there's that there's a quick there's a quick starter that gets you started. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, okay. I think Yeah. And enough. I mean even uh, and I don't know how you're saying Bonnie, it we, we can do we can do what she just said with the mm -hmm. uh with the bios, I think. Yep. We, yeah. we can go from from initial idea to finished product. Mm. And I'll, yeah. I'll help pull that, that would help some of that, that would help me yeah. see yeah. it because seeing it done is not the same as seeing it progress. And your question on will teachers buy into the whole um, depth of the learning piece? If they don't, they should be, you know, that's the whole reason whole reason for it is to teach kids how to think through information and it's what my friend triple b over there was talking about if if we don't teach bonnie, them how to bonnie. think through it they can't bonnie um mm. yeah. they're not going to do it mm -hmm. yeah i i did i did write down by the way diana that you said toward the beginning it's not about the bells and whistles it's about how the how it helps my students be better readers and thinkers and writers, mm -hmm. right? Or something to that effect, mm -hmm. I think you said. So I think we can keep the emphasis on that. Um, cool, cool. Uh, does anybody know what they're doing before? We, we just got an extension till Monday. <laughs> uh, if you could, uh, I, Rollin, I don't know where to find your the chapter of your book. The at the very end, book. the very end of where you are, the one that uh, Rabani just uh, put in the chat. Oh, okay. Fine, I'll find it then. Yeah, and maybe we can meet and talk about it, Paul, and see how I can. Uh, I okay. Sure. Do you want to say very briefly what we've done over the last two days? <laughs> Oh, exciting. So uh, this is what I enjoy, how I enjoy working with Paul is he, he just changes things right there and then. <laughs> so we we are writing this um, paper. And what you mean today, we did a timed essay. And I gave the students 30 minutes to complete the essay from start to finish, 30 minutes. And then the last 20 minutes they have ai to help them refine their essay and then given the rubric in in it ai has the rubric and then it gives them feedback this is a 14 out of 20 this is a 12 out of 20. so and the kids are like oh my gosh how am i going to do this to make this 20 out of 20. so it's the feedback <laughs> is not coming from me Oh, thank goodness. So I don't have to be blamed for that 20, you know, 12 out of 20. So, and, but the kids are aware that they have a rubric to follow and it's, it's an objective uh, assessment of their writing and it's giving them suggestions for revisions. Okay. You have to go back to your assertion, make sure that the trait is there and things like that. And then you, I can see the revisions that's going on. So, which is awesome. And then after that, after they finish that, it's locked. They can't touch the document. And then I can open it again tomorrow for further revisions if necessary. That's one. Another one is, um, you do, know, do I- Do you want to, by the way, or not? You need to let me know. <laughs> not yet, <laughs> go ahead. not yet, because I have okay. to correct okay. it. I have to give them feedback first. Okay. And yeah. um, so I'll let you know when I could open it. And then the, okay. the just the writing personas that they ask and the revisions that I see in their last essay, this is our second essay of the same in the same group, in the same class. So they can see when they learned how to use it. So it's kind of easier and quicker. So they learn fast and they, the revisions are there. So I'm just enjoying and learning um, the, the platform. And I, I love it. Cool, cool. And one thing, I'll, I'll say this for Diana's sake, one thing about working with digital discourse as well as AI, educators 
because if they're not flexible, you will become flexible. Because oftentimes you're not getting the outcome that you thought you were going to get. You're going to get something, you might get something a little less or a little more than what you expect oftentimes. So you have to be able to be, I always use the, uh, the uh, metaphor of a palm tree. You have to be like a palm tree that, you, you know, if the wind blows very hard, you're just bending bending with the wind and you're going to be able to stand up tall and uh, many educators this sometimes becomes a curse for us we think we have to know everything and using ai in your work with young people it, it shows that you don't know everything and but you can't be afraid of that um, and, and if educators are afraid of that, they might be a little gun shy in using it. Or I shouldn't say a gun, huh? Some sort of gun. Shy. Okay. One of my, what I, as we, we need to close, um, but I want to mention that Sam has pointed out that one thing that some teachers he has observed look at, look at writing partners and say um, that it looks like a big lift. And I think some of what you just talked about there, Bonnie, is that. Um, but I, I wonder how we can communicate that there is something big going on here, <laughs> but we're together, we're doing it together, we're, we're progressing together, and it's not such a big lift. I don't know how to say that, but I think it's important for us to say that you just start your journey and, and you know, we see where it goes. It's a network. Yeah, and the, yeah. we're building the network. It's a community and network of practitioners, community practitioners, and like we're learning and we're growing, just like we want our students to. Cool, cool. Diana, thank you so much. Bob, thanks for stopping in. Uh, Great to hear. Good yeah. luck with the, the yeah, session. Thanks. Is it next week? It mm -hmm. is Thursday yeah. morning next week. Yeah. yeah, and yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll be I'll be uh uh on Monday uh for our regular scheduled meetup. Yeah, no, I was on there last Monday, but none of you were there because I I was like, okay, what am I supposed to do? And nobody was there. I was there late. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> You're right. muted, Rabani. Oh, Un Ravani was saying, Ravani, you get last word here if you can unmute. Oh, Un you're still muted. Unmute. Unmute. <laughs> we are so patient. Go there ahead. you are. Yeah. So um, uh, let me know if you need me to help with anything till Monday. I'm, I'll be there in that working hour that Kathy hosts. Um, and then maybe if we have, we, if we have some time, we'll just quickly touch upon like, what are the next steps of the chapter, but they're definitely not in November. It's probably in December, um, but we'll just maybe touch base about that. But if before that you need me to like look at something or if you need to talk through something, please let me know and I'll be happy to jump on a call. Bob, wanted to mention that um, on the table toward the top, my the second one there is something I've written. Feel free to, you can jump into that. It's a public document. What's it called? Uh, teachers, teachers in the middle, I think. Teachers in the middle. Okay, gotta find the time. Oh, yeah, I got it. Okay, thank you. All right, y'all. Okay. Can't thank wait to hear. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Everybody. Have a wonderful right. time. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank, bye. You. thank you, Diane. Bye bye. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your input, Diane, and thank you, everyone. Thank you, Paul. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.